Hey everyone, welcome to Discover the Wild here at the Territory Wildlife Park. My name's Nick and today I'm going to teach you about some of my favourite animals, our scorpions. So in Australia we've got upwards to a hundred different types of scorpions and here in the top end around Darwin we have lots of different types and to most people's horror during the wet season you might see a scorpion crawl into your house. And hopefully today I'm going to teach you a little bit about these interesting creatures to try and get the fear away from it and you also think that they're really cool animals. So here we've got one of our smaller scorpions. So this is one of our marbled scorpions. So these are probably the most common scorpions across Australia. So they're always found under eucalyptus leaf litter. So this is actually as big as they get and some of them get even smaller, only about a centimetre long. So a lot of people hear that the smaller the scorpion is, the more dangerous it is. Well, here in Australia, none of our scorpions that we know of actually have venom strong enough to cause fatalities in humans. So most of them are pretty safe. It's just like a bee sting. Obviously, you still want to avoid getting stung by anything venomous, but we don't have to worry too much about our scorpions like they do overseas. So these small little marbled scorpions actually more sociable than other scorpions they can actually live in little groups together so under a large eucalyptus tree even under the bark sometimes there can be multiple found together right next to each other almost as if they were in a little colony so here we have one of our most impressive species of scorpion in Australia so this is actually our spider hunting scorpion now it does sound like a pretty impressive name and it gets that name because it actually really likes to eat spiders. So this scorpion here will very bravely crawl down wolf spider or trapdoor spider burrows and kill and eat the spider inside. So this is another one of the scorpions that you'll mainly find around areas that are full of sand and you can find them walking around at night. So these ones are really distinctive because they've got all that black end to their tail there. All right, so here we've got something really impressive. This is actually Australia's largest scorpion. So a lot of our scorpions don't actually have a common name, but I like to call this one the Darwin Giant Scorpion, just because it is so big. It's about 12 and a half centimeters outstretched. So these Darwin Giant Scorpions are only found around the Darwin area to about Kakadu. So you might see these males wandering around during the wet season, as I said. They're our largest ones, but they mainly spend most of their life deep inside large spiralling burrows. So their burrows can actually go down a metre down the surface. And they do that because they try and stay cool during the hot days, and they'll come out at night. So if they have a long spiralling burrow, they can actually choose at what humidity and temperature that they feel like up and down the burrow. So it's pretty impressive. So a scorpion like this will mainly feed on invertebrates. So here at the Territory Wildlife Park, we like to feed our scorpions once a week, but sometimes in the wild, they can go months and months without eating. So they can completely seal their burrow off. So here we have a male scorpion and it's much skinnier than the females. So it's very, very rare to see the female scorpions as it's the male ones that are wandering after rain, trying to look for a mate. So as I was saying before, scorpions mainly like to eat invertebrates. There we go. So everyone knows the main thing about the scorpions is their claw and their stinger. So for a small prey such as a little cricket, a scorpion doesn't really need to use its talson to be able to um, kill its prey. So we'll just actually crush it as we're seeing with its claws. So here we can see here, the scorpion's using its talson to sting its prey and that will paralyze it immobilize it so then the scorpion can start feeding all right so now we can see that the scorpion's feeding on the cricket so you can see its mouth parts there extended out and its mouth parts actually look like mini claws if you can see that close enough so basically what they're doing right now is it's going to suck all the juices out of that cricket it's not too pretty so a cricket like this, that will feed the scorpion enough for a couple of days and the male scorpion will go out on the hunt again. But if it can latch onto larger prey, 
It can go a couple of weeks to months without feeding, especially during our dry season up here. These scorpions are pretty inactive. So now I wanna show you something really cool. So these scorpions are actually glowing under the UV light. Now there's a lot of different explanations that why scorpions would glow under UV light in the wild. So the best explanation is that the scorpions actually sense the UV and they do it to protect themselves. Now what I mean by that is if a scorpion is moving around under the moonlight, it can sense the moonlight's UV on its body and it knows that it's not currently being covered and protected. So if a scorpion was to go under a leaf, it would not be getting receiving any UV to its body. So then it knows that it's being covered. It's being protected from any potential predators that are wandering around. So it's a really amazing things that the scorpions do. So thanks for watching Discover the Wild here at the Territory Wildlife Park. Hope you enjoyed this video about scorpions and learned a lot about some of our creepy crawlers here in the top end. Tune in next time for our next video. 